Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the title of this video is Dating Coworkers. So, um, it's obviously a pretty important topic to be discussing, but before I get into that, for all of y'all who are new, or who have been around for a while, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I do upload some new videos. And also, like the video, hit that thumbs up button. I know this is the beginning, but if you just want to support, you know what I mean, or you can wait till later, either way. But yes, let us begin. So dating coworkers. Again, this is another important topic. When it comes to dating relationships because some people say it's okay some people say you should never do it and i'm here to break the tie <laughs> so obviously it could go horribly wrong not only the relationship but dating or the job if it is done improperly or done very badly when it comes to dating co-workers but it could also go well and if it, it is done well. So there's a balance to it. And there's a understanding that you have to have when it comes to that. Ultimately, you got to realize though you guys work together, your business relationship or your, um, your job and your personal life have to be separate. You know, you have to be able to separate them. So, um, that is very important and, uh, actually something, <laughs> and I didn't even think about till now, you know, you gotta be able to separate your business life from your, or your job life from your personal life, you know what I mean? And you gotta find somebody who can do that, you know? So if you're not able to find somebody, don't date somebody who's on your job, you know, um, or if they're not down for it. Don't date them because that will that first and foremost, if they're not even able to um, comply with that. Yeah, they're definitely uh, not good to, you know, work. Uh, uh, work romance material, you know, what I mean, so. Make sure they're at least able to comply with that first and foremost. <sighs> But second, you have to, if you're not, if you're not dating seriously, keep it discreet. You know what I mean? Especially if you have fraternizing rules, <laughs> keep it discreet. You know what I mean? But if you don't, even if you don't, you know, be discreet because you just don't want too much, too many people in your business. Because now you're mixing the, the job with the romance and that can be a problem. You know what I mean? Y'all just do your little thing. Maybe y'all have a little moment while you're um, by yourselves at the job. You can maybe sneak a little kiss here or there, but nothing too serious. I mean, unless if you have some moments, a little bit more time and a lot more privacy, maybe do a little bit more, but that's, of course, up to you. You know what I mean? Whatever y'all decide to do, but... Ultimately, you guys want to keep it on the low. So it's just less drama that is added to the situation. You know? Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Unless, of course, again, you're dating seriously. You potentially get into a relationship and you just don't care. Of course, again, unless you have fraternizing rules, be discreet. But if there are none and you're going to be serious, you know, then you can let it be known. But, of course, ooh, you have to have rules. <sighs> that you have to have when you guys are on the job. You know, maybe not too much talking too much with each other. Obviously, not too much talking about the personal life, you know, or um, no PDA in front of others of course again that's part of being discreet 
you know, um, no argue, no having any personal um, conversations while on the job. There are certain rules you have to set in place so she knows there's boundaries, you know, and you guys have to be discreet about it, you know, um, and you guys just don't want people in your business, you know, so having those rules will give a little bit more security um, to the relationship. Um, so that way, you know, it's not going to be um, blowing up at the job. But of course, if she doesn't comply, let her fly. If she doesn't comply with the rules, she wants to be, you know, disrespectful. She want to be, you know, um, talking too much about your the relationship at the job. Let her go. You know what I mean? Um, and always realize there'll be other girls. Um, and of course, that will also save you the time of having work drama, you know. So the one time she does it, because you let her know, if it happens once, it's over. It's a wrap. And if she does it, obviously it's over. It's a wrap. You know what I mean? Um, but of course, that flows into the last point. If you guys do break up, make sure it ends as positively as you can be. You know, make sure it ends as positively as it can be. You know, so you don't want to have to leave the job or you don't want to get fired. <laughs> you know, so you, you want to make sure things end as positively as they can. You know, so there's no drama at the job. And again, it, even if you want to have other women that you're, you're, you want to talk to at your job, you know, you don't want to ruin those situations either. You know what I mean? So you got to be making sure everything ends as positively as it is, as it can be. If you guys break up, you know, um, you don't want her gossiping, you know, about your relationship to um, other potential uh, suitors, you know, um, at your job. And you don't want them to also be uh, wanting to change their minds about you because of what they heard, you know, so, <laughs> and of course, if they do, obviously, they're not for you anyway, but it's just one less obstacle you have to deal with, you know, so, uh, you want to be making sure things are as positive at the end, and you guys end on good terms, so, um, yeah, I guess that's all I got for y'all, pretty easy, pretty simple, you know, it, uh, but it, it's all about emotional self-control and uh, finding somebody who's who's down for the rules, you know. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's not a bad thing to date somebody at your job. Sure, there's a lot of risk inherent, inherent on it in doing it, but it's not bad. You just have to learn how to do it correctly, you know. So, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you agree, disagree. You think I'm crazy or you think I'm on to something. You know what I mean? I'm always down. Have some uh, um, positive debates. You know what I mean? Immature debates. You know, so because obviously nobody's perfect. But I do know um, a lot of this stuff here is true and will work. If you apply it, you'll get some good results. Um, but ultimately, it is up to you and the risk you're willing to take. But um, also, let me know what other com uh, topics you want me to talk about. Again, this channel is not just for me. It is actually for you because I want to help you guys be better men and women out there. You know, even though this is mainly for um, men. But uh, it's also for women as well. And it's not just for relationships. It's other things, business, um, health, all that good stuff. So uh, let me know what other topics you want to talk about. And, of course, last but not least, I do appreciate donations. And donate whatever amount you found value uh, enough to donate. 
you know, so I appreciate that. Of course, until next week, I hope you all stay safe, stay alive and well, um, healthy, strong, and um, always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. <laughs>